Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, it's all changed this weekend in the UK. We have a train strike today, which means that uh, different people around parts of the northern part of the UK in Scotland won't be able to use train services very well. Uh, We also have clocks changing, so our Clocks change by one hour. Uh, If I remember the proverb, spring forward, fall back, fall being the American word for autumn, then I remember that the clocks are going back. So, uh, whilst this isn't really a big deal for many people, because I think our technology makes the change for us, it is still quite a big issue because every year, we change the clocks twice in a year, there's always a debate erupts about whether we should be doing this. That's okay for a place like London to say, but in the northern part of the UK, the clocks have to change. Remember that the northern part of the UK is more or less in alignment geographically with Sweden, the southern part of Sweden, which means that daylight is uh, really skewed. (laughs) So uh, it's very important that the clocks do change to preserve as much daylight as possible. If London do make a decision not to change the clocks in the future, and it's being discussed, it probably would put Scotland and England... Uh, in different time zones, and Ireland as well, I think. So it's not quite as straightforward as you might think. We change the clocks in order to capture the daylight so the children can get to school and get home from school uh, when it's not dark. But that's quite tricky on a stormy day. This weekend, we also have Halloween, which was historically a night when it was believed the curtain between the living world and the dead world uh, was very thin, and people would dress up as ghosts so that the dead people wouldn't know who was really dead and who was alive, so that nobody would feel any pressure living or dead. It's a very ancient festival, that, and uh, it's also remembered in other parts of the world, like Mexico, where they have the Day of the Dead. Halloween, I believe, started in Scotland. Halloween would be a Scottish word. In means eyes in Scottish, and if you ever uh, come to the northern part of the UK, some of the older people still use a Scots dialect. Oh, my in are sore, for example, meaning my eyes are sore. Uh, so Halloween would mean uh, All Hallows Eve, the eyes of All Hallows. All Hallows is a religious festival. I have heard other um, other reasons why it's called Halloween as well, but... Uh, Certainly growing up, it was explained to me that Halloween uh, was uh, a Scottish word. So that's coming up this weekend as well. Lots of children running around shouting trick or treat. That's something which Americans started in the 60s and 70s. Uh, If you're looking to have some fun on Halloween, I recommend that you watch uh, Charlie Brown. There's... Uh, and I think it's a movie actually of Charlie Brown called uh, The Great Pumpkin. You probably find it on YouTube or on one of your streaming services. And uh, I love that. I always watch that at autumn time because it encapsulates uh, the autumn and everything the autumn stands for. And it has Snoopy as well as Charlie Brown, so it's it's very funny. So I can recommend that for you. So that's changes this, this weekend uh, with the train strikes, with the Halloween festival uh, and uh, the clocks changing. 
uh, here locally there will be um, a Halloween uh, parade. Again, Halloween parades is something that we get from America. I mean, <laughs> we never did that in the past, but uh, it seems that the government sponsor a parade every year now. And uh, I'll be sending you uh, video clips and pictures of that on social media. And uh, I'll try to make a podcast when I'm there. But uh, it's a bit dark, you know, it's all ghosts, zombies and demons marching through the streets. I don't know, maybe it's my age, but I'm a little bit uncomfortable with that. Uh, well, at least it stops the drunk people <laughs> walking through the streets and drugged up teenagers. And I say that for those of you who really do think that the UK's streets are paved with gold. They're paved with something, but I can assure you that... Uh, uh, it's cement, <laughs> like every other place in the UK and around the world. And uh, yeah, we we do have a lot of social problems with young people, alcohol, drugs and these things. So uh, <clears throat> it's very important to stay safe if you come here for a holiday or anywhere else. Be home early. So... Uh, yeah, almost certainly uh, do watch or try to watch Charlie Brown and Snoopy with The Great Pumpkin. I'm not sure what that movie is actually called. I think it's called The Great Pumpkin. It's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Uh, or it might be called It's Halloween, Charlie Brown. It's something like that. Okay, that's it for me. So uh, I wish you all a wonderful day ahead. And let's talk again soon.